M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are with the ICOM 7100. Works great, but it has no antenna tuner. So this new one has come out from AliExpress 8100M. It's nothing to do with any previous models. It's completely unique. It has a USB-C charging, a built-in battery. You don't use the button for tuning. You, you can if you like, but you, you can just PTT and it will tune. There is a advanced, advanced menu in there to change parameters. And if you want to use it on QRP, you do have to change setting number 9 and number 10. Number 10 is an easy one. You either choose 100 or 10 watt. Number 9 is a figure you can play with uh, if, you're, if, the tu if the tuner isn't doing it, its job correctly. I will show you how to go into the settings menu. Uh, so let me just uh, adjust the thing and then we'll give it a test on the actual radio. We'll just zoom in here. I'm going to show you the settings menu quickly. So you just turn it off, hold it down and then turn on. It has got an SWR graph as well, which is quite nice. So we're in the settings menu and then to go up and down, you just push. And then I find the ones for 10 watts, you go to number, push it eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and the eighth one, that's the figure you play with, the 35. There is an instruction manual, it tells you. The ninth one is easy because you just, to make a change, you hold the button and then look, look, 100 watt, 10 watt, and then to come back out, hold your big finger and it will come out. If you want to reset the whole thing because you've got lost with the settings, keep going to the bottom and look, just hold it down and it's going to reset. Okay, we've reset and then turn it off, then on. Now, connection wise, I'll just quickly show you the back. Got a few cables connected here. Let's see if I can just turn it around for you. So you can see. So on the back, you've got the USB connector here for char just for charging, and then it's marked out. Let's see if we get these cables out of the way. It says out and in, okay? And so the out is the antenna, and the in is going to the radio. It's just a patch lead. So let's have a go at tuning. I find it does work. If you've got the cables backwards, you will have an error, and it will say the words fail. So I've got my little pad here protecting the, I don't want to scratch my radio, although it does come with, with rubber feet, this tuner. It's a ve it feels like a very good quality product. I saw a video from Tech Minds where he dismantled his, and it looks good quality components. It's a really nice size. It's smaller than the, the usual one. So let's actually use it. And you can change it so you tune with the button, but this it's by default, you tune with the microphone. So let's move away from these people. Go somewhere quiet. Uh, power. Let's lower it to about 20. So, wrong knob. Let's try it at 20. And let's just key the mic and see what it does. Now you can see that this is the display we're seeing at the moment here. But you can change that, I'll show you. But let's just tune first. Go to FM. FM. And tune. And it, there you are, 1.04. And if you hold, if you hold the TX, you can actually get a live graph. Now you get the same information on different screens, but if we go to the graph, that's very funky. So there's your little graph, and it's showing a good SWR. Push it again, and it's saying 16, and I would say that's our power. So let's try a different band. Tap it here, it's what I like about the 7100. You can do everything on it, but it's also, um, it's also touch screen, so let's just turn it up. So, quiet there, we'll go to FM. FM. M0FXB. This is resetting a minute. Uh, do you know what it was on? It was I did actually leave this turned on overnight. So what I'm going to have to do is um, give it some charge. But it was at, it it was on for about 15 hours and still had charge. All right, let's just see. It might it might work. Let's just try it. 
Yeah, it is working. You can tell that the battery is low, but it is actually working. We'll, we'll finish off the video. Give it, I'm going to give it half an hour charge. Actually, a better test would be to plug in the lead. So it does light up red when it's on charge and it goes green when it's fully charged and see if it will charge. Sorry, tune when it's on charge. Let's try it now. Seems to. That's good to know because you could just permanently have it sat next to your radio permanently on charge, couldn't you? And it is working. And look, there's the graph. So let's try 20. And then we'll try it with a higher power. Again, we need to choose FM. FM. M0FXB, and it works straight away. And you've got your graph. We push it for SWR. We do like the graph. So it's not a great SWR, but you can see it's still a good SWR. One point, you know, good enough to use. So I would say that that is excellent. I think that's worked really well. ATM 100. Tell me what you think. I will test it on some QRP stuff. The main thing with QRP is, you know, you do need to try and get a decent zoom in here. You do need to 